Hi there. I hope you learned the previous section and you mastered on code blocks and making parameters in them and I hope you learned how to make good points. Uh, well, we're gonna go back to the line subject and through the points that we made them, we're supposed to make good lines. Okay, let's see to it. Uh, right click, search point, uh, put it here. For example, I'm gonna make some points on the ground. Whatever state you can choose. For example, I say from 0 to 30 and number of that I want it in my control, uh, which I choose N. Let's make its length in our control as well, like M. Uh, let's give it to X, okay. As you can see, the yellow lines under them, because they're blank yet. Integer slider, click on it, put it here. Okay, another one, alright. Alright, let me give you a point here. Maybe you forget which one of these sliders you use for the final number, or in other words, length, or which one of them you use it for number. It's interesting that if you double click on each node, okay, let me show you, yes, uh, you're able to rename them. For example, here I wanna rename it and write a length instead of integer slider. Well, click on accept. Practically, our final number is the length. Fine, rename it to number, then accept. Okay, over here, let's uh, rename it as well. Uh, and here, distance. Okay, uh, sorry. Yes, distance. Okay, it's easier now. We should give it to this and give it to the number. Uh, for example, here, yes, uh, length, increase it. And for number as well. All right, let's make some points in a cube diameter. Okay, I copy from this point, Control C, Control V, put it here, and give this one to Y and Z as well. Okay, Control B, let's turn around. Okay, that's it. Uh, well, I'm gonna make some points on Y axis. Uh, okay, Control B. Uh, let's uh, copy from it again and put it here. Give it to the Y. Yes, I could take it from X2. All right, we made three groups, as you can see. Now I'm gonna connect them to each other by the lines. Well, let's see how to do that. Uh, okay, right click on this screen and search line. Okay, click on it. Well, what did it do? Well, it took a start point and an end point, and then made a line. But there's a tip here that it's not one point here. Well, how many points does it include? It includes, uh, okay, 15, as you can see. Well, how does it connect 15 points to 15 points? In here, index shows up. Actually, when there is more than one point in a point node, yes, a line is ready to connect uh, the points which have the same index. Well, let me make it clear for you. Uh, for example, here, uh, it connects uh, the zero, uh, as you can see, when you click on it, yes, uh, to this one. Or uh, mm, index of 6 here to the index of 6 here. So if I uh, want to connect, uh, connect uh, this to the start point and connect this one to the end point that you can see it makes 15 lines. Uh, all right, uh, there is a point here that you should pay attention to. It's really important that the point number of uh, this node and the point number of this node should be equal. As we know, all of these uh, follow this integer. We are sure that their number is equal. It shouldn't be like, uh, you know, that we add various integers 
for example one of them is 14 uh, another one is 12 and another one is 10 no they should follow this one hence we know their number is equal well as we can see the lines are made but there is an orange line under it as you can see and it gives us an error can anyone guess what's the reason of this error if you know the reason you're so brilliant uh, great of course because of you know in these two points which they overlap uh, both of them are zero they overlapping so it gives us an error so a node may give an error while it works it means that in its list 14 points have been done but one of them hasn't how to crack this for example here you should put one instead of zero then its error disappears because they don't have points which they overlap all right well again Control c Control v okay put it here okay uh, Control b let's uh, put it down okay then Control b okay these points which are on the ground and these points which are up here okay it's as end and i'm gonna give it to start well i can make this form uh, which is parametric yes it is parametric and that's a point uh, as you can see its length uh, when i change it yes it is parametric and its frames number are parametric as well okay you got it fine so simple uh, let me give you another example okay uh, but first let me give you a point we told you before if you click on a node it makes highlight its output for you as you can see when I click on it uh, it makes highlight uh, these lines it makes highlight these lines uh, but now if you uh, click on three dot uh, then click on pin and then if you click on only one index it makes highlight only that index and it shows you its number as well but sometimes we want to know where the specific line is not all of them in total when you click on it it shows you its number and its location don't forget if you close it it will remain like this if you close it too it will remain like this its number remains and they will be remain highlighted if you want to get out of this state you just need to click on it again and then make it out of highlighted state or it may make terrible for you okay let's get to another example okay i'm gonna remove all of it so i'm gonna do it again so that you can see my hand to get easy with it okay right click then search point in the direction of uh, x axis all right uh, here double click code block uh, start from uh, zero and make mm, for example 20 numbers here as you say 20 you think it would be better if you put a parameter instead for example n and uh, with steps of mm, M or D whatever you want to choose instead and then they turn into input ports very quickly I'm gonna give it to this one all right right click here then search integer click on integer slider we need two of them uh, yes we made two of them parametric I was able not to make the steps parametric and only make the number parametric instead okay double click on it and rename it to number okay then click on accept double click on it then rename it to distance actually distance in between after clicking on accept uh, distance in between to D 
and the number to n. For example, number, uh, let's increase it. A number cannot be zero. Let's change it. For example, we put here two. Uh, C, fixed distance, but the number is changing. And I'm gonna change the distance. Uh, yes, like this. Mm, it's good. Well, another point we need here. Let's not change its x. I'm gonna give its height an amount. Uh, for example, uh, let me think. Mm, it starts from 5 and their number should be equal so that they can be connected to each other. So what should it be? 2 points, hashtag n. Its distances can be different or fixed. It's your choice. It doesn't matter. For example, uh, a fixed number like mm, 3. I think it's good, 3. It should take a number from this one. And we need the number of this node and this node to be equal. And I'm gonna give it to Z. Then after that, Control B, yes. And uh, well, as you can see, it would be like this. Do you agree with me that its height got too high? Let's make the distance in between less. Mm, for example, I think one tenth is good. Okay, let's see. It's too small. Let's change it again to I think six is good. Well, now we're gonna connect them to each other, which is a simple job. Don't forget that the points number of this node should be equal to the other one. For example, we have 27 here and here 27. Okay, they're equal. Because the number of them, which is this one and uh, this one, I took it from this slider. If once it needs to get from two sliders in an example, you should be aware of their number equality. We have another lesson to talk about later, which their number isn't equal. Okay, right click here, uh, then search line, click on it. As you know how it works, it connects the same index's number to each other. Which means, for example, it connects the indexes of zero of these two nodes to each other. Okay, when you click on index of zero of this node, as you can see, control B, yes. You can see it, look at it and the index of zero of this node click on it as you can see it connects them to each other okay let's get out of the highlighted state and give it to this one give it to this one all right finished uh, let's make it a better for well well all right uh, i don't want uh, for example this point to connect to this point. I don't want it to connect to the last point, which is first on the other side. In fact, I want instead of indexes going down from zero, they start from the other side, which means it's zero connects to this one's 26. All right, if we can make the order of these points upside down, 26 takes place of zero, and it will become completely upside down. Hence, instead of connecting to 0, it connects to 26. Because 26 plays the role of 0. We have a node here which can make the list upside down. And it doesn't matter for it what it is in that list. In fact, if the indexes are from the beginning to the end, this node makes them from the end to the beginning instead. Okay, right click, then search reverse. Alright, as you can see, we have a couple of reverse here. As you can see here, it looks like a bit an apple. Its explanation says it creates a new list containing the items of the given list, but in reverse order. Alright, uh, click on it, put it here. Alright, I'm gonna give this point to it. It doesn't matter what you give to it, whether it is a point or a line or an object or a letter, it just makes this list reverse. It makes upside down. Okay, let's see the result. 
well naturally the index of 0 of this one equals to the index of 26 of this one uh, as you click on 26 it shows you on the screen okay let's deselect it and if you click on 0 uh, they are the same as you can see they became upside down all right uh, let me give you a point here when you give a node to another one in dynamo to be worked on the contents of this node won't be removed we have two series of points which overlapping each other when i click on this and this one both of them these points get highlighted if you don't need these points and you don't want to see them anymore you can right click on here and deselect its preview while you deselected its preview they are still there you can connect them to a line node in fact you can still use them but you don't just see them on the screen all right uh, okay uh, this point is our original point and this one is its reverse and i'm gonna give it to start and this is the upside points i'm gonna give it to this one well as you can see this one connected to the last one and uh, here it's like that uh, let's control b and look at it uh, it's made like this and if i uh, give a y to it yes uh, all right i hope you practice and master on it so uh, let's uh get off this uh, reverse from it when in a point node there are many points and then you give it to the line the indexes which are the same numbers they will be connected and make the line if you want to make a list reverse use the reverse node it doesn't matter what you give to it it just makes it reverse uh okay and when you uh, connect this to this one this point connects to the last one instead of connecting to the first one all right please practice uh, what i told you so far until then i'm gonna explain the last practice in the next chapter okay see you